Around 10 months ago, I made a video known as Needy Streamer Overload Anti-Piracy Stream, and this video was fake. Matter of fact, it used a custom stream maker, and this may come as a surprise because Needy Streamer Overload just had an update that gave you a stream maker, but this one is better and more usable with more features. All right, so before actually talking about the stream maker, I think it's a better idea to talk about Frostworth because this person is very important to the NSO community. They have made mods such as Solitaire, an ending tree maker, which is also responsible for me making a max followers guide in 16 days, has made not just one, but two secret TXT tasses, and with the second one, having a split viewer and an achievement viewer that just adds more to the experience, at least in my opinion. And has also made a speedrunner auto splitter so that speedrunners could get more accurate splits. And last but not least, has also made a randomizer mod that also has toggleable settings. And as for the stream maker, you will need to get three things alongside with the game itself. You need Bepinex configured, a stream loader, and the stream maker, all of which are available in the description on GitHub. First you want to go to Steam and open the local files. Next you want to extract all the files that you downloaded, and you can delete the zip files, it doesn't matter. You want to open the Bepinex folder and paste everything into the root of Needy Girl Overdose. You want to go into Bepinex and then go into the plugin folder. And then you want to put the stream loader in there. And as for the stream maker, you just open it and open the exe file. And just like that, you can make any stream that you want. You can add any words that you want. You can add as much text, as many comments. You can add many effects. Honestly, the world is yours. Just go crazy and do whatever the heck you want. And now I'm sure that a lot of you might be wondering, oh, well, how do I actually use the stream? Literally all you do is go to the data select screen and then you press on the home key. That's it. Just press the home key and there you go. That's all there is to it. Now as for the stream maker stuff, I said all that there is to say, and I've also talked about a lot of other mods that Frostworth has made, so there's not really anything else to talk about there. But I do want to use this opportunity to talk about my piracy video I made 10 months back. There were plenty of mistakes that I made, and there were also a bunch of bugs at the time with the stream maker. And overall, the stream maker is significantly better now than it was previously, and so I wanted to use this opportunity to try and do a redo with the piracy stream if I can. I I highly doubt that it's going to get anywhere near as much traction or any amount of care in the world, honestly. But I just thought, hey, why not just go full circle? So yeah, I guess just enjoy the rest of the video or just click off. I don't know. See ya.